Alright, welcome back. Um, last time I had you, uh, if you were following along, uh, you got Duaz set up and you downloaded a couple of packages, um, at least a web browser and probably FVWM2. Um, and if you uh, followed along, the next time you logged in, it should look something like this um, without this Xterm window open that I'm using to record this session with. Um, anyway, if you've uh, got Duaz set up and at least gotten a web browser uh, downloaded uh, and installed, you can follow along with this uh, video. Um, I'm going to show you how to try out my configuration and see if you like it. So uh, open up X, another Xterm window or just one um, by just clicking anywhere on the on the desktop and going down to Xterm and then type uh, Firefox if your web browser that you downloaded was Firefox uh, I think Chromium uh, just uses Chromium as their uh, Installer or as their executable, uh, just type chro and hit tab and see if that gives you anything useful if Chromium doesn't work. I'm going to use Tor Browser because I like to use Tor whenever I can. And I'm going to go to github.com slash ccwadi. And then I'm going to click on this dots repo down here. And if you scroll down, you'll see that there's a uh, convenient little guide that describes how to use this configuration as your uh, as your configuration. And uh, one of the things that uh, you're going to want to do first is install all of the necessary packages. Um, these are all the packages that I either have configurations for or that I consider uh, essential um, for my day-to-day -day use. Um, if you know what you're doing here you won't have to install them all but I will say that autoconf and automake will ask you for versions um, and you want to pick these versions that I have listed down here. Um, in Emacs, you're going to want to pick the GTK3 flavor. Um, I need these essentially just to install PDF utils in Emacs, which I'll cover in just a, in just a sec. But anyway, once you've got these downloaded and installed, um, run the following commands in a terminal. And I'm going to make this a little smaller just so that I can have my terminal more visible. And we're going to do git. Now that you've got git installed, we can do git clone dash dash bear https github.com ccwadi uh, slash dots dot git home slash dot dots and that was pretty quick then we're going to do alias dg equals which git git dir it's going to be just home slash dot dots slash dash dash work tree it's going to equal home and then if we do dg checkout it'll give us an error you'll probably get an error similar to this you might even have more files that give you errors um, if this is a config, if you already have your own configuration that you like and that's set up, um, I recommend backing those files up so that if you don't like my configuration, you can change it. Um, but if you're just starting fresh, you can just do rm.x 
defaults.profile and .x session. Okay, great. And then let's run that one more time. And now we're pretty much done. Um, you now have my configuration files uh, set up. So the next time that you log back in to uh, your account on your computer, uh, you'll see my configuration. And you can use that. Um, you might have to play around with the uh, some of the settings for window sizes and things depending on how big your display is. The display that I use is 1360 by 768 just to give you an idea. And uh, you'll get some error messages if you don't have certain files. So what I'm going to recommend you do is make dir.priv and uh, touch dot priv uh, dot alias and uh, yeah that'll take care of uh, some error messages uh, the second thing that you're going to want to do uh, that I recommend is uh, start Emacs so um, you can do that just by typing Emacs uh, in your shell and it'll pop up and it'll give you some warnings and what you're gonna wanna do uh, to silence these warnings is you're gonna wanna type uh, alt x uh, or as Emacs likes to call it meta x and then list packages and another thing that you can do is you can type uh, control X and then uh, one and that will uh, just bring up this single window and you can see that this window is kind of just loading right now um, but what you're going to want to do, and you can navigate between uh, different windows by hitting Alt-Tab, which will be familiar to you if you've used a Mac before, and it actually works on Windows too. Um, these are the packages that I have installed in Emacs. So Emacs has its own packaging system, and so what you can do is you can type control s and uh, hit smex and uh, you can uh, keep hitting control s to go to the next version until you get to the single line that says smex and then hit enter and then use your arrow keys to go back one and then hit enter again or you can just click on it too I forget that you can use the mouse sometimes <laughs> Uh, hit install and if you scroll down all the way to the bottom or just above the built-ins you'll see that Smex is now installed so there's two more packages that you you're gonna want to start just to get rid of these error messages when Emacs starts up. Uh, so click on this window over here again and type control S and then PDF dash tools. And keep hitting control S, it'll wrap the search around. And then click on PDF tools and then click install, click yes. And it'll take just a second and now it's installed. So click back in this window, hit control S again, and type multiple dash cursors. And then keep hitting control S 
until you get to this line. Click on multiple cursors, install it, click yes, and then we're good to go. So now, um, what you're going to want to do is type uh, control X, control C. That's going to ask if you want to exit Emacs. Just hit yes. Then come over here, run Emacs one more time. And it's going to say that you need it needs to rebuild the EPDF info program. Do it now. Hit yes. And if we installed all of the packages that I mentioned at the beginning, then this process should go pretty smoothly. Uh, you should you might get one or two warnings, but uh, it's never it's never given me any problems. And it just takes a second. Cool. And now that's finished. So now you can hit control X, control C again, and just type yes. That's fine to overwrite it. Really exit Emacs. Yes. And now if you run Emacs one more time, everything should start up smoothly. Ah, I forgot. There's one more thing. Egg Type control X, control C, yes. Really exit Emacs, yes. And then do touch.priv slash dot Emacs. I believe that's what, uh, oh, dot Emacs dot EL. And now if you run Emacs, it boots up normally. So I have this set up to bring up a shell inside of Emacs and a scratch buffer split vertically or split horizontally. Um, and that should pop up when you, uh, when you log in the next time. Um, so hit control X, control C again to overwrite this desktop file, hit or type yes to overwrite the desktop file and type yes just to get out. Okay, now uh, you might have to adjust some things in uh, .fvwm um, to get some sizes right, um, but that's really not uh, the thing that concerns me the most. Um, what I do want to look at is uh, this line about XKB comp in .fvwm config because I have a very weird uh, keyboard configuration and uh, <clears throat> you probably don't want to use that. So um, the other thing that we want to do is uh, enable uh, apmd um, and start it. So do as rc control enable APMD. It's already enabled on my system, so but this isn't going to hurt anything. Start APMD. Cool. And that just enables you to uh, suspend and put your computer to sleep when you want to. And uh, let's add a uh, dot, let's do touch dot get uh, dot priv slash dot git config real quick just so that git doesn't give us any errors. This should all be done because we've added a dot alias. If you've installed xclip, copy and paste should work fine in tmux. You don't need to do this unless you're using mutt. You don't need to worry about anything in here unless you're using my keyboard layout. You don't need to worry about anything in there. Um, and then if you want your uh, login screen to look prettier, um, what you can do is you can do cd.xenodm and then do make and make install actually make and 
do as make install. And uh, all that's going to do is uh, it's going to, you know, enable uh, your, it's just going to make your uh, login screen look a little prettier. Uh, you won't notice it until your next reboot, um, though. So the next thing that I want to uh, to talk about, maybe, or the last thing that I want to do is talk about the uh, making sure that you can uh, get rid of my keyboard configuration if you want to. So I'm going to open up an X term, and this should look pretty nice because uh, it's already loaded our uh, new configuration file. And I'm going to make this text a little bit bigger so that you can see it. Not that big, though. And I'm going to do mg uh, dot fvwm and just to be full, well, yeah, dot fvwm slash config. And you can use the arrow keys to navigate around in here. This is just a text editor. And if you don't want to use my keyboard configuration, just type a uh, pound sign at the beginning of this line that says XKB comp. And then there's a couple more things that you can do. If you don't want Emacs to start up right away, you can uh, put a little pound sign in front of this guy. And if you don't want a terminal to start up right away, and you just want to uh, go straight into the, or just have a have the background there available to you, and have nothing start up automatically, you can put a uh, pound sign in front of that one. And if you don't want your uh, machine to fall asleep automatically, uh, you can put a pound sign in front of this one. So make whatever changes you want to. And uh, I'm gonna leave them all the same. And then hit uh, Control X, Control S and it'll say wrote your file. And then to exit, you can hit Control X, Control C. And then hit exit to get out of the terminal. And uh, that's it for this one. Um, I don't believe I've forgotten anything. Um, for the next video, I'm gonna go over, you know, how to use the command line. And I'll probably have to do a series of several videos on that. Um, but once you learn how to use it, uh, at least for me personally, I've never wanted to go back. Um, I, you can, if you want to have a, a file manager uh, so that you can graphically uh, drag and drop files into folders and directories, uh, there are packages that will let you do that. Um, but I've never found a need for them. But Anyway, if you like this video, uh, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. In either case, let me know in the comments down below why you liked or didn't like it. Uh, if you've noticed that I'm speaking a little differently for this video, uh, it's because there's a small child asleep uh, and I'm doing this very late at night. So uh, hopefully that's not bothersome to you. Um, if you have any questions, or criticisms or concerns, um, let me know in the comments as well. And uh, as usual, if you want to get notified when I make new videos, uh, hit the subscribe button. But that is it for this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.